Hello, Gaz Williams here, and this video is sponsored by E-Instruments. Yes, they got in touch with me and asked me if I would like to show their new product off, which is called Pure Piano. Now, I jumped at the chance because E-Instruments are awesome. They've got a great reputation for making some of the most respected, natural sounding instrument libraries on the planet. I'm sure many of you will be familiar with some of their classics like session keys, session horns, many of which are included in Native Instruments complete collection. So yes, so when they asked, I was like, oh yes, please. Now what's interesting about this is it's a very beautifully recorded, high quality, natural piano that runs on the iOS platform. So yes, I've got it running in front of me here on an iPad, but you know, yeah, it runs fine on an iPhone. We'll show it being used on an iPhone later, but I'm going to mostly concentrate on using it with the iPad just because it's easier to demonstrate, but it runs perfectly well, as I say, on the iPhone. Yeah. Now, what makes it special is I think that e-instruments have got some special secret sauce back at the laboratory uh, because this not only is a beautiful sounding piano, it also can be warped around using this morph pad to take it into more kind of creative uh, areas. So if we listen to the basic sound... It's all very well and good me showing you this, but I thought it'd be better if I brought in a good pianist, somebody who plays piano for a living, and I'm going to bring in my good friend, Helen Stanley. Hey, Helen. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Helen plays in the Rumbelows, that's a surf band I play in, and she also plays in Asteroid Deluxe, the space rock band <laughs> that I play in too. On top of that, she plays piano in Crippled Black Phoenix and... She's also launched her own solo project called The Sound of Ursa. Please check her out. She's awesome. Anyway, over to you, Helen. So our setup is a complete control S88 Mark I. But the kind of crucial thing that we're using is a Yamaha Bluetooth adapter. That's the BT-01. That's actually getting its uh, power from it, the MIDI sockets there. So this works really well. Now, if we look over here, attached to the iPhone is a little clagnet going into a little electron splitter, which gives us two jack-to-jack -jack outputs. I thought what would be a really cool thing is to hear the pure piano playing a standard that we all know. And let's do it. Let's get Helen to play for us Claire de Lune.
what do you think about this piano? What do you think about it? I love it. I think it, you know... Why? For starters, it sounds like a really good piano. Um, you know, when you have it set to pure, which it's called, pure piano, and then you discover that there's lots of different settings. It's got this really cool morph pad, which I've not come across before. Um, there might be similar things out there, but I've certainly not come across it. And it, it, it's just all so user-friendly. It's just... I'm not really a, a tech, music tech person. So this suit really suits me. Super simple. It sounds great. like about the pure piano is that you can really dial in the velocity so here we are for example. so to me that's quite a bright sound it's actually the pure setting there is a bright sound maybe we could just have a, a quick listen to what that is go to presets and we go to bright so you know if you were playing maybe some Jerry Lee Lewis that would be pretty cool for sort of rock and roll playing, but for what we just did, we were looking at the pure sound, but it's still quite bright for me. It's nice, it's got a lot of um, ambience to it, but what I was able to do was just draw in the curve here. There's, there are some settings, we, we were on soft then, there's hard, which is, you've got to really dig in to get a response from it. And we've got two linear. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you see that? That's getting more like my piano. So I'd probably go there, and it's my piano's a little bit brighter than that. So you just draw in the curve. A bit too much. Bring it down a bit. my piano at home so you can really go in and all the nuances it's fantastic so this is what's called the pure piano unadorned you can see I'm using a sustain pedal with it now on the morph pad I can move it around if I move it to the north it becomes cinematic so you can hear this nice reverb, like a kind of warmer tone. Move it to the right, it gets into detuned territory. Down here, bright. And look, you can kind of get the in-betweeny areas between the different zones. So this is called liquid morph. You can disable this, but why would you want to? Look over here, it goes into reverse territory. And then over here, it's like pad, which is like a piano with no front end. And then down here, mellow. And then over 
here. Intimate. Now, intimate's interesting. You can hear all the little sounds as you're coming off the piano keys. And then finally, over here, we've got percussive. Which gives us that really short staccato -y sound, pizzicato. And then back to the middle for pure. Yeah. But that all makes sense when you're playing because you can reach and easily move it to those different tones. Hold that and then. So we'll take a little look around the rest of the interface. Down here we can choose effects. Now the effects, there are three types. There's EQ, there's reverb and there's delay. At the top it says control by morph pad. That means as we're changing it on the morph pad, those sounds will change various effect parameters, but we can override that by turning that off. And now we can apply an amount, time and then feedback. Let's crank the feedback up a bit. Maximum time is about a second, I guess. Now I can go back to the morph pad. And those delay settings carry across. feedback down. Let's make a faster delay. Uh, let's go to the reverb settings. Let's undo that from control by morph pad and we'll increase the time and the amount. nice simple to use interface the last part of it is the way to tweak your velocity settings you can kind of turn on here and you can adjust it and get it feeling just right for you the only other setting here is we can switch it over here where we can get to our global transpose master tuning and the musical tuning too only things left on here to see is we can slide our keyboard around to find the right octave for our on-screen keyboard or in fact we can turn off the keyboard. In this case we don't need the keyboard because we've got one plugged in. I'm connecting to Pure Piano via a USB hub that the audio fuse is plugged into and the USB of the Arturia key step. In our demos, we've been using Pure Piano as a standalone instrument, but of course you can use it as an AUV3. So for instance, if I was to open GarageBand, create a new project, then pan across here, external, Pure Piano, loading it in, and there it is. So we can record it now. So that just about wraps up our look at 
Pure Piano from E Instruments. I'd like to thank E Instruments so much for sponsoring my show. I really appreciate it. It's great. And a massive thanks to Helen Stanley. Remember, check out Sound of Ursa for showing me how to properly play. I'm Gaz Williams. Please consider subscribing and all that kind of stuff. See you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.